into another Northwest Missouri State football update here on Thompson'sTake.com. Also on the Thompson's Take Facebook page and YouTube channel, my name is Matt Thompson checking in with you here. As always, well, yesterday the Northwest Missouri State football team defeated Harding University 35 to nothing. With this win, the Bearcats improved to 13-0 on the season and are slotted to face Ferris State next Saturday in Maryville. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a minute to appreciate just how good the Northwest football program has been. Since the start of the 2012 season, they've only lost five games. That's right, five games with a record of 63-5. and And oh, by the way, lumped into that 63-5 and record is the school record 28-game winning streak that is still intact. Now, I certainly do want to discuss the Bearcats' win from yesterday, but first I'd like to talk just a little bit about how Northwest has become such a powerhouse in Division II football. I think a huge part of that can be attributed to the legacy that longtime head coach and now athletic director Mel Churchma created, and it's been carried on very nicely by Coach Doral and his staff. Players who are recruited by Northwest come in knowing that the expectations are high. Along with the Bearcat fans and coaches, these players expect to win. I mentioned the great football history at Northwest, and that in itself is a great recruiting tool. Going back a few years, the Bearcats have done a great job recruiting players who, in my opinion, were right on the bubble of playing for Division I schools coming out of high school. But for whatever reason, be it size or a lack of exposure, they are overlooked. The Bearcats have succeeded in recruiting some explosive players, guys like Xavier Oman and the Dixon Twins, just to name a few. Those are guys who went on to actually be drafted and play in the NFL. Next, I look at the fact that Northwest has had some very solid leaders under center, from the Bulls brothers, both Blake and then Brady. Each of them led the Bearcats to a national championship victory, and now Kyle Zimmerman hasn't missed a beat since stepping in as the Bearcat quarterback. Of course, you have to appreciate the fact that Northwest has put some very good defenses on the field, especially in the last two years. These reasons are all a big part of the Bearcats' success, but the number one reason, in my opinion, that Northwest has had so much success is the fact that they play unselfish football. That is a big deal, ladies and gentlemen. Each week, there are several players, and it seems like new players stepping up and making an impact offensively, defensively, and, of course, on special teams. They seem to take it one game at a time, and if one man goes down, the next man knows his job and is right there to step in. With all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if the Bearcats can stay healthy and, of course, focused, I see no reason why they won't end up playing for yet another national championship title in a few weeks. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. They still have to win next Saturday. Plus, let's appreciate yesterday's shutout victory over Harding. Yesterday, Northwest played yet another full game on offense, defense, and special teams. Simon Matisse, and how good is he? He drilled five field goals for Northwest. Meanwhile, Jordan Grove and Dre Washington were clutch for the Bearcats. Washington had a career day hauling in seven passes for 135 yards, and all Grove did was find the end zone three times. He caught four passes for 73 yards, none bigger than that 58-yard touchdown reception on Northwest's opening drive. While Grove only had three total rushing yards, you have to hear this, they were big yards. His three total rushing yards accounted for two of the Bearcats' touchdowns. Now, we can't forget Mr. Consistency. Kyle Zimmerman, Zimmerman went 30 of 42 for 340 yards. Finally, we get to the Northwest defense. It was another outstanding performance by the defense. As always, Jacob Volstead, Cass Weidel, and... Jared Bishop played a big role in the shutout. They accumulated 33 tackles between those three guys. Harding, who came in ranked number five, and they were undefeated as well, they didn't find their way into Bearcat territory until the second half. And when the Bison attempted a field goal, it was blocked. The Bearcats also blocked a punt yesterday. As I said earlier, they really are a complete team. Next Saturday, the Bearcats will take on Ferris State. And if they can scratch out just one more victory, they will be headed to the national championship game at Sporting Park in Kansas City. Well, that will do it here for the Thompson's Take Northwest Missouri State update. My name is Matt Thompson, as I said earlier. Be sure to stay connected to Thompson's Take on social media. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, add us on Snapchat and Instagram. I will uh, link all those in the description for you guys. Thanks a lot and have a great day.